Gimme, the Kwame of reality. I am everything that was, is, and will be. In the finale of Season 5, Recreation, Gabriel achieves his ultimate goal by taking the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses from Marinette. With Tiki and Plague under his command, he forces the Kwamis to unify, revealing an entirely new character. Gimme, the Kwame of creation, towers over Gabriel as a massive cosmic entity who can bend reality. With no choice but to heed his command, Gimme grants Gabriel's command, which requires reading his mind and heart. Gabriel ends the series by ascending into the air with Emily, where they both embrace and disappear. Gabriel's wish, supposedly still to reunite with Emily, was granted, but not in life. In today's video, we're examining the possible repercussions of Gabriel's wish on the world of Miraculous Ladybug. For example, if you wish for garden peas to turn red, then strawberries will have to turn green. Number 1. Natalie's Life After Natalie begins using the Peacock Miraculous in Myura, she becomes terminally ill. Between seasons 3 and 5, her health has had its ups and downs, including fainting spells, prolonged time in bed, the need for mechanical leg braces, and bouts of weakness. When modern medicine failed her, she even tried to find a solution through mystical means. Natalie and Gabriel's relationship breaks in the fifth season as Natalie decides his obsession with defeating Ladybug and Cat Noir has gone too far. She began questioning his every move, becoming critical of the man she once adored. Despite that, Natalie agrees to help him by becoming an akumatized villain in passion, believing the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous could save herself, yet still manages to lose. Natalie did her best to stay active in Adrian's life despite her struggles, so when she died in confirmation, Gabriel chose to save her. When Gabriel requests a gift from Gimme in recreation, they explain that an equilibrium is required to keep reality from breaking. For example, if Gabriel wished for a red object to become green, then a green object must become red in its place. Now, had he asked to bring Emily back, he would have needed to trade someone's life in return. We know that Gabriel gave his life for someone else as the series confirms his death in the epilogue scene. However, Natalie is also present in the epilogue as she sits beside the pool watching Adrian and his friends. It appears that Gabriel traded his life for Natalie's so that he could reunite with Emily in the afterlife. Gabriel would never allow me to do this, but I'm going to create a very powerful senti monster, the most powerful one that's ever existed. Number 2. Adrian's Guardianship Supposedly, Gabriel and Emily are both gone. Fans speculate about the woman at the end of recreation, as she could easily be Amelie or Emily. However, Gabriel had only one life to trade Gimme, which points to Amelie being the woman beside Natalie at the pool. With Gabriel and Emily gone, Adrian becomes an orphan and needs a new guardian to help him through his teenage years. A popular fan theory was that Adrian's bodyguard referred to as the Gorilla would take over as Adrian's guardian if something ever happened to Gabriel. The choice stemmed from how deeply his bodyguard seemed to care for him, and because at the time Natalie had chosen to work alongside Gabriel despite knowing he was Hawkmoth. It appeared Gorilla was the only positive and constant person in Adrian's life until season 5. In the fifth season, Natalie cuts ties with Gabriel after he fails to save her and Emily in evolution. She comes to terms with her inevitable death and begins caring for Adrian's emotional and material well-being, stepping into the maternal role model Adrian already viewed her as. The season serves as a redemption arc for Natalie, even though it doesn't erase all the pain and suffering she had caused as Myura. However, her changed priorities and willingness to fight for Adrian's happiness are likely why Gabriel traded his life to save hers. Throughout a single season, she proved her ability to care for the son of her closest friends and gave fans hope that Adrian would be okay in the future. There's this girl I like at school. Should I tell her in person or write her a poem like they do in books? I'm not sure what to do, actually. Number 3. The Aggress Brand Gabriel's legacy includes the company and brand that he left behind. As a fashion designer and an influential person in Paris, Gabriel hosted events, created fashion lines, and partnered with other significant people to fund citywide projects or create products. To most people in Paris, Gabriel was a reclusive entrepreneur with good intentions. However, fans know that the Gabriel Agress brand often served as a cover for Hawkmoth. In multiplication, Gabriel joins forces with Tomoe Surugi to make the alliance rings. Their smart devices allow them to monitor movement across Paris, send miraculous powers to akumatize villains, and launch a full assault on Ladybug and Cat Noir. Although her motives are unclear, Tomoe is a willing accomplice to Gabriel's crimes, and now his company is left to her. At the end of recreation, the alliance rings are melted down to make a statue commemorating Gabriel. Unfortunately, Tomoe still knows how to create the alliance rings, or a technology as equally devastating. She also has Gabriel's resources, knowledge of the miraculouses, and ambitions unknown by the heroes. Is that why you digitized me? Yes, my son. I am freeing you from your career as a model. That is what you wanted, isn't it? Number 4. Emily's Fate The inciting incident that made everything in Miraculous possible was Emily's death, which occurred before Season 1 began. 
If Emily hadn't used the Peacock Miraculous and lost her life, Gabriel would have never used the Butterfly Miraculous to become Hawk Moth. Without the motivation to resurrect his wife, he wouldn't have made a single akumatized villain, and Master Fu wouldn't have selected new wielders for the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses. In Style Queen, the series shows how far Gabriel is willing to go to preserve Emily, as he keeps her body in a glass coffin for over a year. With the technology to keep her body in near-perfect condition, Gabriel spends months trying to harm teenagers and all of Paris solely to bring her back. Emily's fate is in Gabriel's hands, but his final wish respects Emily's last requests. In Season 5, we learn more about Emily through video diaries she left behind. In recreation, Gabriel watches one of her final video messages, and it appears she had made her peace about using the Peacock Miraculous and the death sentence that came with it. In the end, Gabriel still makes a wish with Gimme, but it doesn't appear to include bringing Emily back to life. In doing so, he subjected expectations and allowed her to have some final control over her fate. Adrian will be well surrounded. He'll have you, Natalie and he'll have his father if Gabriel agrees to give up on his madness. Number 5. Tiki, Plague, and Kwame Unification An unacknowledged consequence of Gabriel's wish falls on Tiki and Plague. They must know about their authentic forms, what would happen if they unified, and who Gimme is. However, Marinette appeared genuinely surprised to see the Kwamis, nearly as tall as buildings, with the energy of centuries-old creatures with vast knowledge. The true forms of Tiki and Plague were a glaring reminder that the Kwamis are more than cute animal companions. They're world-altering entities with limitless power. It's odd that Marinette, the current guardian of the Chinese Miracle Box, wouldn't know the full extent of the Kwame's power, or about the existence of Gimme. She did know that the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous could grant a reality-bending wish. So why did Tiki, Plague, and the other Kwamis withhold such vital information from her? In recreation, Tiki and Plague appear weary of unifying, even though they don't have a choice. Their reaction and perhaps different behavior that could appear in Season 6 could be due to Gimme's appearance in the finale. They didn't seem fond of humans, exhausted by the prospect of granting another wish. It's possible that Tiki and Plague don't like Gimme, or may not have complete control when they unify. More importantly, Gimme's existence opens the story to new threats and more questions. Like miraculous unifications, can the Kwamis unify with one another, no matter the combination? Or can they only unify with one other Kwami to create someone new? What do the real forms of the other Kwamis look like? How do these forms impact the Kwamis' personalities? And how do they interact with their wielders? There are endless inquiries fans could make and a whole realm of possibilities. If the new Kwamis are anything like Gimme, they may not have the same moral obligations to humanity as their friendlier counterparts. Tiki, Black, reveal yourselves. In the end, there's no telling what Gabriel wished for in the final moments of Season 5. His last wishes were between himself and Gimme, and he made it a point to go unheard by Marinette. Despite that, the epilogue confirms his death for now and his absence will have consequences for the people he left behind. Natalie has received a second chance at life, Adrian must grieve another parent, and new villains will rise to take his place. My power won't be able to remedy it. If you meant what you said earlier, then we both want the same thing. We want Adrian to be happy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I am Tiki, the Kwame of creation. I am everything that isn't yet.